And we're back with Rory Cowan's Q&A. Hi, Rory. Hello, Harry. How are you? Hello, everybody. So Here we're we talking again more about your school days, you oh, as a boy. Ask me the questions, go on. <laughs> well, can you remember your first communion day, maybe confirmation day? I can. Uh, communion and confirmation. I made the communion in Ballyferm, the confirmation I was living in Athlone. But let me see the, commun- the communion day, yes. We had this nun um, that used to take us for religion, like to teach us what you had to learn for your communion day, because you had to make your first confession. And she took us up to the church at the roundabout in Ballyfermot. And uh, they, the, the, the brief we had at six years and seven years of age was just make up sins. And it's just like to get you into the habit of making a confession. So she'd sit in the confession and pretend to be the priest. And we all went in and then she'd open the door and we had to say off by heart, bless me, father, for I have sinned. These are my sins. And I said, um, I stole handbags and I broke into cars and I robbed my mother's purses every week. And, uh, and she stopped me and she said, no, no, Rory. She said, you don't have to tell real sins. You can make them up. And I <laughs> I'm seven years of age. Did she really think I was going out robbing handbags and breaking into cars? Anyway, but that was my communion day. And now, of that nun, I'd love to remember her name. She was hilarious. She was a lovely little woman. She was a tiny little nun, um, an old an old woman. Um, uh, I'm sure she must be well dead now, but she was a lovely little nun, very gentle. Um, and she was taking us, again, for religion, preparing us for First Communion. And uh, she's walking around the class and she's talking and she's telling us all what we had to do and all this type of stuff. And then she stopped and she says to one of this, there was a guy in our class called Willie Dowling. And Willie was just like the rest of us. Um, so she looked at, she says, Willie Dowling, she said, look at your neck, it's filthy. And behind your ears is filthy. Oh, your hands, she said, they're filthy. And your nails, you didn't, did you, did you watch yourself before you came to school this morning? So of course he got very upset about this and we were all slagging him and joking afterwards and we call him filthy and all this type of stuff. But she said, make sure you come in tomorrow and make sure that behind your neck is clean and behind your ears is clean and your hands and your face, everything. you've got to be spotless now when you're coming into school. So he obviously got very, very, very upset about this. So he must have went home and told his mother or his father anyway. But the next day, we're all in school again, and this nun is walking up and down, and she's teaching us all. And Willie Dowling's father just barged in the door. He knocked on the door first. I can still, I can still see it, a big man. He looked like a docker with one of these flat caps on. And he opened the door and he said, Sister, did you say my Willie was dirty? Well, the whole, <laughs> cl- <laughs> the whole class erupted. And then he realised what he said, and he just went, Oh, sorry, ma'am, sorry, ma'am, sorry, ma'am. And he backed out the door. And she was just standing there, gobsmacked, and the clue what he was talking about. But the whole class was in an uproar. So that was my story about me communion and Willie Dowling, Willie with the dirt, the dirty Willie. <laughs> anyway, that's enough. I can't go on about my confirmation because it's getting too long now. So I'll do that another day. So thanks. There we are, folks. Indeed. That's uh, Rory Cowan's. Uh, Could commun- you say my Willie? Could you say my Willie was dirt? <laughs> <laughs> the poor nun. <laughs>